what do you think of this football team or maybe what areas do you think the most different about today as opposed to a couple months ago? I'm going to start on offense. I think just the passing a game, you know, we kind of went into spring with kind of a show me month for Oregon football of, okay, what, what is going to be this new offense with Kenny Dillingham as the offensive coordinator? Uh, we know what he's done at a couple stops at Florida state and Auburn, but neither of those was, he was like a primary play caller role. So this is kind of his first time being the architect. And I came away thinking this is an offense that is, is what it said it's going to be, which is it wants to stretch the field vertically. And the first play of Oregon spring game was a 70 yard completion to seven McGee. And that kind of set the tone for a day where there were about four explosive passing plays over 40 yards, a couple for 70, five, I think five passing touchdowns, um, vertically that they just kind of move the ball down the field a little more adeptly in that area, certainly than we'd seen recently. And I think there was frustration in Eugene from the fan base, even though Mario Cristobal had quite a bit of success winning football games, but it was kind of a ground and pound offense, which deviates a little bit from what you're excited. Sorry, I should say what you've been kind of accustomed to seeing in Eugene, which is exciting offenses with Chip Kelly and Mark Kelfrich and even the Willie Taggart's one year where there was a lot more onus on the big plays and moving the ball down the field. It was something you really saw last couple of years and, and in the spring game, at least. And I think if you talk to the players throughout it, there was a lot of enthusiasm and excitement for kind of an offense that will hopefully kind of get back to what Oregon has been known for the last decade or so.